Hoy mates, Julie here, and welcome to Friday's episode of Floaters TV. First up today, let's see what's making a splash in nautical news. French sail racing soloist Francis Joyon is making major headway in his bid to reclaim the record that Dame Ellen MacArthur took away from him two years ago. That is for the fastest, non-stop, single-handed circumnavigation of the globe. Joyon's 2004 record beat the previous time set by Olivier de Kershausen in 1988. As a matter of fact, Joyon obliterated that record, completing his 28,000 nautical mile solo circumnavigation an entire 20 days faster than Kersalsen. Not to mention, Joyon's old trimaran, IDEC, wasn't even designed for single-handed sailing. It had 10-year-old sails and no weather router. But in February 2005, Ellen MacArthur beat Joyon's record, bettering it by one day, eight hours, 35 minutes, 49 seconds, aboard her boat, B&Q. Now, Joyon has a new trimaran, the 97-foot IDEC 2. And like MacArthur's B&Q, it was designed by the Anglo-French team of Nigel Ahrens and Benoit Cabaret, though it is 32% longer, 26% heavier, and has 30% more sail area. Definitely purpose-built for ocean record-breaking. Joyon departed from Brest, Western France on November the 25th, and as of Tuesday, only four days after he left, he was on track for the Cape Verde Islands, his big red trimaran having extended its lead to 280 miles, the equivalent of half a day's sailing at the present rhythm, over MacArthur's record. We'll be watching his efforts closely as he makes his run for the equator. Next up, it's time for our Boat Test Reports Feature of the Week, where this week we take a look at a great pontoon boat, the 20 Explode Cruise SHP from Manitou. Welcome to BoatTest.com, Captain Rob Smith here. I'm on the 20 Cruise from Manitou. The 20 SHP has V-Tune technology that delivers a real punch. The technology makes this pontoon boat ride and handle with V-Hull characteristics. Sharp turns and tight figure eights prove she's a performance capable and ski ready boat. The 3 tube SHP has larger 27 inch center tubes and 23 inch outer tubes, enhancing performance in V-Tune technology. Entry gates include wide gates for larger gear and a wheelchair accessible gate. Now, with the family on board, they really appreciate this. It has a standard porta potty and changing station in the end of the couch. Porta potty. And then that sets up real easy. The fiberglass helm has a low-profile tinted windshield with quick release to store in tighter spaces. The color-coordinated bezels on the instruments make the helm stand out like a high-end muscle boat. A large group easily fits on the aft L-shaped bench lounger, and a great deal of gear can be hidden under the seat bottoms. I really liked how Manitou added edge bolsters and a 7-inch safety rail surrounding the wide sun pad across the aft. The Sunbrella Bimini top sets up or stows in about a minute and uses quick release mechanisms and a slight adjustable bar rather than webbed straps that will sing in the breeze. The 20 Explode SHP measures 20 feet long on an 8 foot 6 inch beam width. She has 23 inch outside pontoons and a center 27 inch pontoon. This model is rated for up to 175 horsepower outboards. This model drove more like a ski boat on a rail than a pontoon. She was out of the hole in 4.3 seconds and up to 30 miles per hour in 7.3 seconds. She makes sharp turns and tight figure eights. I found her best cruise to be around 23.4 miles per hour for 3,500 RPM and 203 miles on a full tank. She maxed out at 5,450 RPM and 43.3 miles per hour. Thanks to Boat Test for that report. To see more of the Manitou 20 Cruise SHP, you can cruise on over to Boat Test's website at www.boattest.com. Next up, in just for the hull of it news, young naval designers made big waves in the recent MDRA scholarship competition. The 2007 Marine Design Resource Alliance's Boating Leaders Scholarship winners were recently announced. $16,000 in scholarships were awarded to design and art students who submitted original boat designs across five award categories. The GE Scholarship for the Best in 
marine products design that enhances the boating experience was presented to Adam Borges of the Art Center College of Design for his distinctive and dynamic Vantage display. The marketing of a boat is an important component to its design, and Voorhees' exhibit space depicts the likeness of powerfully flowing water as seen in a boat's wake to create an aesthetically pleasing image on board. The Omnova Scholarship for Excellence in Interior Design was granted to a group of four student designers from Kendall College of Art Design for their Yacht Interior Design Original, which converts an upholstery color accent into a wind strap to secure items when needed. Eight students from the Savannah College of Art and Design were awarded the Sovereign Scholarship from Tiara and Pursuit Boats for excellence in powerboat design. Their winning project, Quarzo, is a two-person nautical supercar resulting from a fusion of classic wooden runabout lines and the modern technology of today's automobiles. The Mastercraft Marine Design Breakthrough Award for Emerging Innovative Boating Concepts went to Graham Tuttle and Matthew Malone of Syracuse University for their Portage Pack, a watertight, foldable, and portable one-person kayak gear storage unit. The Premier Scholarship for Outstanding Achievement in Pontoon Design, as well as the Anchor Scholarship for Overall Winning Entry, were both received by, let me try this, Vyase Teha Hiothigadana Pura. Did I get that? Put that name up here so people can see what I've. Yeah. Of North Carolina State University for his Grand Toa, which blends plesoelectric materials with the kinetic energy created from boat versus water action to generate electricity, which can then be directly channeled to the boat's motor. To see more of the winning designs, please visit Marine Design Resource Alliance's website at www.mdra.biz. And finally today, it's time to reveal my profile pick of the day. Julie's the Voters.com Celebrity Profile Pick of the Day is Captain Jeffrey Siegel and Acapella, his 2002 DeFever 53 RPH. In his blog, Captain Jeffrey tells us Acapella is in Rockland, Maine for the winter while he works on his website, ActiveCaptain.com, which you should definitely check out. We love the great photo collection that Captain Jeffrey has uploaded, including these great pics of Acapella's crew, his wife Karen and bosun Aramatis, Tucker, and some new deckies, Dinah and Dylan. And that's a wrap on this episode of The Voters TV. Join us back here on Monday, and until then, safe and happy boating to you all. Take care. Biasateha Hiothi Gawadanapura. Is that good? God, this guy hates me. Biasateha. Yothi Gawa Dana Pura. You ain't from around here, or is ya? Uh, Vyasi Teha, Yothi Gawa Dana Pura. Is that it?